So today I'm going to be setting up my very first A5 size planner binder. Um, I am finding that as I get busier, um, I needed a little bit more of a planner system than I had. Something a little more robust that was customized to my needs. I am a writer, so I have my own deadlines to worry about. I also do some work with a writing workshop and I am on the board of my local RWA chapter and we're planning a conference this year. Uh, and so I just found I had multiple things to keep track of, and that's not even including like my family stuff, uh, my daughter's schedule, and we're all homeschooling now because of the pandemic, so there's all of that. Um, and I just needed something a little bit more robust to track all of the things that were going on in my life. And I find that as much as I really would love to have a totally digital lifestyle and have everything on the computer, have a calendar that's digital, and be able to sync that across devices, I lose things in a digital system. My brain just doesn't retain information the same way, and there's something about writing it that really helps me to reinforce what I need to remember. So I was gonna stay with the paper system. Um, I'll show you the system I'm using now in a minute, and I think it'll become abundantly clear why that's no longer working. Um, but I was attracted to specifically the A5 binder because of the size. I don't have a lot of real estate on my desk, and I like having something that I can have open a lot that doesn't take up a ton of space, close it as I need it, um, something that travels well, uh, like when we're ever traveling again. Uh, and um, something that kind of looked a little bit more unobtrusive than the system that I have, which I'll show you again in a minute. Uh, so I decided that A5 was the size for me. I just like the width of the paper. Um, I like the, it, the, the, square, the um, square footage it takes up on my desk is perfect. Uh, and I'm happy to have that size. So that is the how we got here and the why. Um, I am going to go over my planning system as it exists and then we'll talk about like what I'm gonna do with this actual all these goodies here because there are so many goodies on this table I'm excited and uh, so I went down the rabbit hole of a5 planning I watched all as many YouTube videos as I could I talked to folks I know that have planners um, some good friends who are super into bullet journals which I love but I find completely intimidating and way too granular for my lifestyle so I kind of wanted something in between uh, just a basic planner and a bullet journal and uh, so this is what I'm gonna put together and I'll show you now uh, the system that I'm outgrowing All right, friends, this is the system I'm replacing. So let's just get out of here. I have a desk calendar. It's a month. It's got a little gold foil. It's very shiny. It doesn't take up a lot of real estate on my desk, so I like it. And it gives me a nice overview of the month ahead, and I can see what I've got coming. And it's almost done. <gasps> what happens next year? Aren't we all wondering that right now? Uh, so. I also have this bad boy, which is my primary planner buddy. That's just a regular spiral bound. I got it at Target, I think, in the bullseye bin section in the morning, or in the front of the store when you come in, in the morning. I probably did get it in the morning, but that's an aside. Um, so, you know, it's covered in stickers because I am a child of the 90s, and that's what we do. Um, and basically, this has served me well for the bulk of this year. I think, you know, I, I started this in the beginning in December, and I really started it because I was taking on some more responsibilities in my local RWA chapter and I had had some freelance clients. My freelance work was picking up um, and then also a lot of writing deadlines that were moving around. And so I just needed something to write everything down in. Um, a digital calendar did not work. It just didn't work. So here we are. The year, which is great. I love having um, the whole calendar year. But it's in the, kind of in a weird place because as I get through the year, it's kind of harder to go back to. So anyway, I have gone basically the week on one side, notes on the other. It's kind of a blank note section. You can do with it what you will, which got me into some trouble later in the year because basically I turned it into my meeting notes section. Um, and I think you can probably see the problem with that right away. <laughs> the section is written upside down. I don't know what I was doing. Um, 
not that I wrote upside down, but I think I flipped the whole journal upside down. Uh, the problem with that is that I would take notes here and then, you know, for a meeting and then a week or two would pass and I would need to reference those notes and they were all the way back here and I had no way of tracking them. I also had weeks that looked like this, which gave me hives uh, and two weeks in a row like that. I devised some sort of post-it system at some point where I would just kind of move the post-its across from week to week as I needed them. Um, and yeah, so that didn't work so well. <laughs> And I tend to have a to-do list by the week and then sort of add things to it as I go or remove things as they get done. So like, nice, cross things out. It started to look orderly, but it was also really hard to track my um, work by client. So I started putting my daily spreads in and that got a little messy. So basically this became a junk show by like May. Here we are in May, things are a mess. Um, I had a book launch this year, so managing that is always something. I did at some point devise my color coding set, um, system here. So you can kind of see where I was starting to do some of that here. Yeah, like by August, I was like, I need a system. So I have these fantastic, lovely little pins that I brought back from last trip to Germany. I really like these. These are the Stabilios. Um, it's a fine point. It's a really nice line, uh, and I just color coded. Emerald City, my own work, stuff work, other work. Um, I also, you know, a pencil things in, <laughs> a pencil you in, and if you don't show up or it cancels, I erase you. Um, that kind of thing. And then I'm gonna stop bumping the camera now. And then uh, I use just these for writing. I love these pens. This was a gift from a friend of mine. I think they're fantastic. They are super, super smooth and they're good for writing and they don't smudge. It's just a roller ball, um, but it's a lovely pen. So thanks friend. Okay, so that's my system. Uh, you know, it's a bit of a junk show. It's this whole like post-it sticking out the top and all in the middle and I felt like you know, on those rare occasions that I'd sit down at a meeting, it would be like, here's my planner. Look how professional I am with my post-its hanging out the side. Um, so I sort of realized that this wasn't gonna work uh, pretty far into the year. Uh, and then I started to look at a bullet journal, but again, like my day-to-day -day doesn't tend to be that intense. I don't need every hour of the day clocked. Um, and I felt like that feels really stressful to me and a little granular. So um, I just needed something that was a nice in-between. So after watching 800,000 YouTube videos um, that are all incredible about planners and planner setup, I decided I would take the leap and make my own. So my strategy is it's the, almost the end of the year. I've got about two and a half months left. It's going to be October when I post this. And so I might as well do a test run. I would just try um, my own trial version of an A5. So now that we've talked why, let's talk what. I decided I was going to do a lot of printing this time. For one, it's not long for the end of the year and a lot of the inserts I saw were either dated through the year in December or they were undated. And I didn't show you this in my old planner, but I am really terrible at writing the right number dates in. Even though I have a dust calendar, I still managed to screw it up. So. I really want eventually to do printed dates um, in my inserts. Uh, as much as I like this, I think that, and as grateful as I am to all the YouTubers who are out there who really have made this their passion, um, for me this is really going to be about function, not about craft. And I know very easily that I could turn this into a huge time suck and a way to procrastinate on my writing and my work. So I'm going to avoid that. <laughs> Um, by probably doing a lot of ordering. But to start it out, I thought, let's just print and see what happens. So, went to my friend Amazon and got a uh, packet of paper. This came 250 sheets. They're all pre-punched, pre which is awesome because I didn't have to buy a whole punch. Um, and I don't have one already and I wasn't down to grab another whole bunch. I mean, I have one for a three ring binder, but anyway, long story. So I got that, that was great. Um, I found it was much more paper than I needed, which is saying something considering that I probably wasted about 50 sheets while I was trying to figure out the alignment and whatnot for the printables. So um, 
250 sheets was more than enough for me. I will have extra sheets for days. Three things I printed. One, the months. I like having a visual month. I like having a visual month separated by, that I could separate with a week. So I just printed out a basic one. I will have to number this myself, which I am already dreading, but I'm a big girl, I can handle it. And then on, since I'm gonna separate them, I just printed like inspirational quotes on the other side, um, couples from my series, uh, that kind of thing. And I found these nifty little tabs, the ones that I really wanted, the month dividers that I really wanted from cloth and paper were sold out, of course, because it's cloth and paper. So I just grabbed these little buddies off of Amazon and they have done a really good job. They're fine. They're not the prettiest thing, but they will do the job. Um, I then did do a couple of printouts. So printouts that I knew I needed was a week. I found a week layout that I liked. It's very similar to my existing planner. There's a sheet for notes on the left side. The week is on the right. Um, I like that it has a singular to-do list uh, because I tend to lump things together and then as things arise over the week, I can put them in a particular date, a priorities and gold section, and a little habit tracker. So um, I'm trying to work out more, do more yoga, so there we go. And I got this from Thank Thinky on Etsy. Those are cool. Um, and so I can divvy that up and put those in between the weeks. Um, and I had a couple extra note pages I just sort of put in there. So I got those. The other thing I really wanted was a meeting tracker. A lot of my work takes place in meetings and that's how where I get a lot of my assignment um, for my to-do list. And so I needed a way to be able to track meetings that I could reference the meeting. And I really liked this insert. Um, I wish it was not printed because having done the whole printable thing, I doubt I will do it again. But I figured out how to make this work. So we're just gonna make it work for now. Um, this is the meeting insert. It's got the meeting details on the left, tasks on the right. Um, and actually, am I doing that right? Maybe not. Yes, okay, which is cool because then I, and notes at the bottom. So I love this idea because I can have the agenda here um, and what happened out of the agenda. Anyway, I'm gonna go over the whole insert because I love it so much. Um, I will likely divide these up by project section in the notebook so that I can track meetings across various projects. I mean, that's kind of how I get my marching orders are in meetings. I also printed out a list. So lists were hard because there's some great, really great ones that are just like books to read, movies to watch. Um, people are always giving recommendations. But I also wind up having to do readings for panels or for events. Um, I'm doing a couple this fall where there's a particular set of my criteria to the books that I'm reading and what I'm reading them for. And so it's really hard for me to have them all on a single list because it's just a muddle. Um, I was doing it with post-its for each event and that kind of got to be messy. So what I really liked was this one from 8 Lotus because it's got blank, um, list but like four separate lists on the same page so for me I could have you know a books to read and for each panel that I'm going to be on it can have its own list um, I can also then do like podcasts movies uh, magazines you know any various separate items groceries I actually do not do groceries on a paper list I do groceries on my phone which I have managed to do successfully so I'm gonna keep that up because I hate getting to the grocery store and realizing I forgot my list I did wind up ordering two inserts, um, and these were wonderful. Um, actually, so basically I doubled, I bought these from 8 Lotus as well as printed them. And I think right away you can see the difference. Um, I don't have the greatest printer, I am not super into figuring out alignment issues. Um, I feel like these, the paper quality of this Amazon paper is not that great um, versus the same insert that I ordered. Um, the paper is beautiful. It's super silky. It feels good. Um, it's going to be nice to write on. I can tell. I know these things. And I feel like this was worth the money. So <laughs> as much as I love my do-it-yourself spirit, I will probably continue to order inserts. If I had a nice printer and I was really into this, I would figure out the insert thing and print it because the great thing about the inserts that I'm finding is there are just so many that are sold as printables, especially on Etsy. Um, 
that you just aren't gonna find in another store that has pre-printed. So I realize that that's a sacrifice and that's one that I'm gonna make for right now, but we'll see how things go. Anyway, the other one that I bought also from 8 Lotus was this awesome gratitude one. I love this. I love the idea that being grateful for what you have is super critical in your life and it's very important. And it's something that I try to do every day anyway. Um, I love the idea of being able to track it. I will probably put one of these like, per month and um, and then track it that way more as needed. I haven't actually done the calculation to see if one would be enough. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, well, we probably need like one and a half. Okay. So uh, I haven't gotten a lot of dividers yet because I kind of wanted to see how many I needed. I did splurge with these from Jane's Addiction because I like the colors. I love the darker colors and backgrounds. Um, and uh, I got those, the end. I also grabbed a couple of top dividers. So like I was saying for my meetings, I could divvy up my meeting notes by project. I got one dashboard. Again, it was really hard to just do one thing, but I decided I was just gonna do one. I'll start there. And my lovely vellum, which also feels amazing vellum year to date. This one is actually July through June, so it's more of an academic calendar, um, but I think I will, it'll be great to get me started for this year, and then I'll find out what I need and whether I need to do something slightly different next time. Um, Eight Lotus sent me these lovely little cards with my order. Um, one of them is minimalism, your perfect amount of something, and I love that because I think everybody's idea of what the perfect amount of is going to be a little different. Um, a little month calendar for September, which is lovely. Maybe, I don't know if you can see it. And then um, this business card side size appointment calendar. And then it also is um, a little thank you note, which is really cute. I don't see a client's by appointment, but if I did, I would love that. Uh, and finally, the piece, piece de resistance. Um, pardon my terrible <laughs> accent. Uh, this is the planner. I grabbed this one off of AliExpress for a song. Um, and it's a good basic starter baby planner. Feels nice. It's leather, uh, or excuse me, vegan leather, we call it these days. Uh, when I was growing up, it was leather. End of story. It'll do me to start. Um, it's a little wallety, a little more wallety than I would have liked on the side. Um, but you know what? Baby steps. Baby steps. So those are my supplies, that's what I'm going for, and now I'm gonna put this bad boy together. All right, folks, here it is, all assembled. Let's take a little walk through. All right, got my dashboard. Some stuff <laughs> that is called a divider, a calendar, which I forgot to put until the very end, and my months. So right now I've got a month. I'm going to have to put my big girl pants on and write the dates and the numbers in, which intimidates me a little bit, but I'll figure it out. A nice sheet of notes. And then my weekly. One, two, three, four weeks. Sheets of notes on the side. My gratitude for the month. And we'll move into November. So November, December should proceed about the same way. And then on to my meeting schedule. So I ended with this divider. I'm not sure I will keep that there. Oh, I forgot. One thing I had bought and I forgot about it were these little pockets that go on the corner somewhere. So I will figure those out in a minute. Um, uh, I have my meetings divided up by... by divider so they're all top divided and uh, right now they're blank I think that's okay I don't have a ton of different things and I'll be able to differentiate pretty easily um, but basically meeting notes and then at the end of each section I put a little list sheet and a couple of blank pages because um, I sometimes like to do mind mapping or brainstorming or something like that um, or doodle I can be a doodler okay um, and then moving to the end, I have my section, which is, whoops, hello, which will be entirely devoted to lists. Ha <laughs> ha 
books list, things to read, things to watch. Um, I think one thing I noticed is that when I close this, if I don't close it just right, this top page gets, or this bottom page gets kind of stuck between the ring and the binder. So I will probably look for another divider or something to put in there so that it's not eating that last page. But for now, I just put in a couple of these extra blank pages to protect the last sheet of lists. Um, I did get this one. I really liked this one. It just wasn't enough differentiation for me from the day designer. Okay, that it is. There it is. So, oh, nothing. It's not a perfect planner if it doesn't have a pen. Uh, I just fell in love with, well, I have these, which I adore. So it'll probably be that one. But then I just fell in love with these tool pens. And um, I always have my classic black pen which I adore so one of those three will get the honor of being included in the planner for when it travels which it's not doing for a while so for now that is it all right friends I will update you um, right now I'm looking at potentially getting the half sheet for the days that are more intense and need to be tracked a little bit more granular granularly than the weekly insert will allow um, but again, I'm going to give this a month or two and run it as it is and see what happens. And if this works, then I will just start ordering inserts um, because I will likely not do the printable thing again. Uh, if it doesn't work, well, then I'll know and I won't have spent a bundle. Um, just a small bundle, not a big bundle. All right, until next time, be well. And I am so excited to be a planner. A little thank you to all the YouTubers out there who are really passionate about planners and have done hours and countless hours of videos to help newbies like me get started. Y'all are the best. I really appreciate you. Um, and thank you for welcoming me to your community. It's so nice to be here. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.